Hey, John, this is Dora. It was nice chatting with you today. Uh, does this little guy look familiar to you? <laughs> anyway, he's a super cute logo. Um, I'm going to go over just a couple of things that might help you pull in more business. And uh, let me just start from the beginning. It shouldn't take very long at all. So first of all, I did a, a just a normal Google search for heating and cooling in Denver. And, you know, usually what comes up first are just ads. And then sometimes there will be an ad in here, too. Um, but you ideally would like to be in this map pack. The reason I say that is because these particular businesses get the majority of the business because it's easy and it's fast and most of us like easy and fast. So people just click on it and then, you know, unless they have had a bad experience or can't reach somebody, they don't move on to the next one. So there are also organic results down below. And I found that Denver Heating and Air Conditioning uh, Summit Heating Company is probably your biggest competitor. So I'm just going to go over that with you a little bit too about, you know, what you could pull in if you were at the top instead of them. So I love this big guy. He's awesome. You can get a free quote if you want to. That's awesome. I would definitely maybe put a call to action with a clickable phone number up here. Um, a lot of people like that. Um, oh, I guess it is. Sorry, I just didn't scroll enough up to the top. Sorry about that. Um, you know, you can also have a form up higher on your website because a lot of people don't like to talk on the phone anymore. So along with this button, you know, that's just an easy fix. You could, you know, people could put in their information real quick and send it on over. So um, I, I like this, you know, I just think it's the cutest logo ever. So as you scroll down, you know, it, you're, you've got a nice website. Um, one thing that I would really recommend, though, would be for you to have some more content on it. Because um, when Google sends its crawlers, sorry, it's crawlers, um, they not only read your site to see if it's relevant, but they also count the number of words that you have. Um, so the more um, content you have and the better it is, the easier it is for you to rank up. And then I also, you know, to get into that map pack, in order to get there, you want to make sure you have a lot of citations and you want to make sure that your Google business page is completely optimized and updated. So I'm just going to look at Denver Heating's website. You know, it's not any better than yours. They um, have a little bit more information on it, which is definitely helping them to rank up a little bit higher. But they don't have what I can tell. I don't believe that they've got 1500 words of content if they do it's barely there so you could beat them out with content that would be a, a good place to start and to be able to move up to that first page in google and then let's just look at a couple more things you can do so this is kind of like looking at your website from the back door so you've got a domain rating which is basically your power of 4.7 you've got a url rating of 4.9 um, which is basically um, your trust that you have with google so the one way to increase these numbers is to get nice quality high powered backlinks. It looks like you've got a couple of them here. Um, a backlink just means that somebody has given you a shout out and they're linking back to your page so that, you know, if somebody else comes and reads their information and clicks on it, it comes to your page. So you do have this link and, but it's got absolutely no power to it at all because they have a power rating also. Sorry, I started to hiccup. Um, so anyway, if you are able to get a lot of, of really high-powered backlinks, that's going to move you ahead of your competition as well. And I will show you how to do that here in just a second. Now, you do have three keywords that you're ranking for, and they are all related to your name. So that's, that's amazing. Um, you do... You know, as you add content and move up in the ranks and use your keywords, then you're going to pull in, you know, clients from them. Because right now, like, you're number 27, and you know, so you're not getting any traffic from it at all. But as you add keywords and, you know, add content, that would change for you. You would start ranking for those words. So let's just look over here just to compare. Um, so they've got a nice, uh, basically, power rating and, you know, trust rating. They're on their way up, you can tell. They have over a thousand backlinks, which is probably what's helping them um, to be, you know, on that top, you know, organic search position. And so as you can see, you know, they've got 
backlinks with like a 90 for power, a 90 here, 90, 90, 50, 58, 61. So you can have these backlinks too, a lot of them. You just need to go in and click on it. And if it's available for anybody to use, you just put your information in on it. I mean, I know there's over a thousand of them, but it would definitely bring in, you know, more clients for you if you were to just click through those. And the last thing, let's see, look at their keywords. All right, so like HVAC Denver, I mean, over almost 2,000 people look for that every month. It would take a little while to rank for this keyword, but once you did, if you were in that top five, you could look at bringing in, uh, you know, at least 100 phone calls or form captures every month. And same thing, let's see, you know, just questions like, how long does it take to install an AC unit? So, you know, 350 people look for that every month. And if you're ranking up, you know, on those top five, you're going to pull in business from that too. Denver HVAC, 300 people look for that every month. So just look at these numbers of how many people are looking for um, information about your business and things that you do. And, you know, just assume that if you were able to get that content on a website and make sure that you had plenty of backlinks and use your keywords, you would definitely be able to move ahead and at least be on that first page and hopefully in that map pack so that you can bring more clients. So I hope you have a wonderful night. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I'll reach out tomorrow and see if you have some feedback for me. Thanks so much.